We're gonna give this to you and let you make a decision. That's not fair. Feeling another person's pain sounds kind of painful. And yet, we still do it. Every year, a quarter of Americans volunteer to help others in need, and two-thirds of them reported that they helped their neighbor. And when you take all of that empathy you're feeling and actually act on it, well, that's this whole nother thing. That is compassion. See, acting on that compassion is stacked with physical and mental benefits. We found one study that showed people who spent money on others felt even happier than people who spent money on themselves. And another study that found donating to charity activates the same pleasure centers of our brains as receiving money. You can go ahead and read those two studies down below, or you can keep watching, because we wanted to test them out for ourselves. First, we wrestled up some participants. After giving them part one of our officially patented happiness test, we told them they'd be given an extra $50. Today, we're gonna give you a choice. Okay. This is $50. Okay. And it's gonna be up to you what you do with it. We're giving you the choice today to donate this to a cause that you're passionate about, or you also have the option of keeping it and taking it home. Okay. There's no right or wrong choice. Whichever one you make, that's the decision that we want to see. All or none, one decision. $50. I see. One way or the other. Okay. There you go. Just go ahead, decide what you want to do with it, and put it in whichever box that you feel like doing. Okay. Okay. That one. That's the booth. <laughs> when you're in there, we won't be filming what you're doing, just your face, and nobody will know whether you donate or keep it. Nobody watching, all right? Okay. Do I need to put it in the envelope either way? Yes, please. Okay. After they made their decision, they took the second part of the happiness test. Now, at that point, we had all the data we needed and considered the experiment complete. But we thought we'd gently give them the opportunity to share whether they donated or kept the money, and why. We told you that your decision was anonymous, and it is. We don't know what you decided to do. But if you do want to share, we thought we'd give you the opportunity to tell us what you chose and why. It was a little bit hard for me to decide, mm -hmm. to be honest, but I wound up donating the money to the Los Angeles LGBT Center. If you don't mind, could you share with us whether or not you donated today? Sure, I decided to donate the money. It's just a little thing that is gonna help families with special need kids it's like ones that I have worked with. Would you like to share with us what you decided to do? <laughs> yeah, uh, I decided to keep it actually. Okay. Yeah, uh, I have a car insurance bill that I have to pay. So <laughs> I donated it. I thought I'd be kind of a dick move to keep it, but I also thought, you know, I'm, I'm not in that position. I thought that $50 for me wouldn't change my life. How do you feel? I decided to keep mm -hmm. because I'm a single mom and I'm saving up to get my daughter braces. Those are expensive. The results? People who kept the money for themselves saw their self-reported happiness go up by an average of 4.3%. So you decided to keep it. How mm -hmm. do you feel afterwards? Um, I feel like it was a confusing decision to make. Mm -hmm. It Because you want to help yourself, you know? Um, $50 is nice. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, more than being nice, it's... Uh, <laughs> it would be helpful. <laughs> yes. While people who showed compassion and donated to a charity they cared about felt their happiness go up almost twice as much, with an average increase of 8.57%. How do you feel now after putting $50 in the donation box? So good. $50, though, is a, is a good chunk of money. It's a nice chunk of money, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was that little smidgen of, cool, I'm, I'm not rich. I, <laughs> I work a couple jobs. I work really hard. So why, what overrode that? Well, I could really use that 50 bucks. And I think I should donate it. I'm not going to fill it. Came in, it went out. I was able to do something that I want to do in a greater amount than I normally do. I'm happy I was able to do that. 
there are a lot of people who could be using that money. I mean, I could be using that money too. <laughs> it's a nice amount of money. Yeah, no, I mean, it's 50 bucks. But at the end of the day, I think the organization needs it. And I mean, I'm gay. <laughs> and they just give so much like uh, health resources to people in need that they're just a really good organization. The fact that you just handed me money to be able to help out one of my former students is, like, that's more than I could ask for. I meant so much. <laughs> it's hard to show compassion because there's some cost associated with it. This time it was monetary. Other times you have to sacrifice your time and energy. And often showing compassion takes an emotional toll as well. But feeling empathy and acting on it just feels good when the day is done. And that is what makes it worth the price. Super Cake.